hi guys welcome back to queen leaf's kitchen so this morning i've decided to have some aki with fried plantain sorry not aki kololu with fried plantain soul fish and some fried dumpling and for drink i'm going to have some smoothie cucumber smoothie so come along with me to make breakfast as you can see i've already kneaded the flour and while needed the flour my member said i must share my breakfast with you lot so therefore i stopped and i am making this video for you to come along in queen's lee's kitchen and enjoy my breakfast today saturday breakfast okay guys all right see you later so guys while the um dumpling is frying my saltfish was soaking for about 20 minutes in cold water and before that i washed it twice yeah so now i'm going to drain the saltfish yeah and put it in some hot water and with that i'm going to leave it in the hot water to scald yeah that word scald is when you boil the water and after you boil the water you turn it off so the heat steams whatever you put in it so the reason why i'm doing the scalding right now for the saltfish is because it's boneless saltfish it hasn't got no bone in it so it doesn't need a lot of cooking it's already soft so i'm just doing the scalding bit to take out the excessive salt okay so I'm going to leave it now in the boiling in the boiling water to simmer. Okay? All right. So my dumpling they are still frying nice and goldeny and that's exactly how you would want your dumpling to be. Some people like it more dark and some people like it not dark so like a bit light brown. Yeah. So you just turn it occasionally and try not to get it burned okay all right so we're going to leave it there until it's fried right through so i finished cut um my vegetable and I'm going to add it now to the oil. Be careful, guys. Remember, always tell it to be careful when using hot oil, okay? Don't want it to get burned. You can hear it sizzling. Ooh. And guys, guess what? I have to share something with you. I love to use garlic in my cooking, you know. But I ran out of um garlic yeah but however i found some guess what powdered garlic i found some powdered garlic yeah and i'm going to use a bit in my cooking in my seasoning because i really love garlic too much it's very good for you anti-aging anti <laughs> anti antioxidant it's good to drink it's good for you all over so i've added yes it is so I've asked my son asking me if it is and he knows it is. Just want to have a say. So, yeah. I'm going to leave it now to infuse with the garlic. Leave the, the, the tomato and the pepper and the scallion, scallion to infuse with the garlic. And then after that, I'm going to add my colorloo. No, right. Before I add my color, I'm going to add my salt fish. So the salt fish is cold and I washed it again and I picked it. So when um that is finished, I'm going to add this. When that is finished, I'm going to add this. Okay? So we're going to stir it one more time so that everything is infused. Mmm, smelling nice. Wish you were here to smell this with me. Alright. So we're going to leave it now to fry a bit more, turn the stove down, and then after we're going to add our saltfish. 
I'm going to now check on my dumpling. So I'm adding my plantain now to the oil. Yeah, there it goes. And remember, you can do whatever shape you like. And how thick you like it. But remember to always be careful, guys. I don't want the oil to burn you. So planted in and frying. I'm going to try to get them golden brown. So that's how I like it. Yeah. And we're gonna check back on our colour to see what's going on. Ooh. Nice sweet steaming. And I think it's time for us to turn the off. Yeah, see colour is finished now. So colour done and dusted. Nice. That colour is beautiful. Don't worry, you're going to have your share at the end of this video, okay? You know I'll never leave you out, okay? <laughs> Plant and finish frying. And put to drain the excessive oil out. Although it's olive oil and it's good for you, I still like to drain. Uh oh, guys, my, my alarm up just went off. Sorry. Guys, I'm back with you. Yep, my smoke alarm went off. Nothing wasn't burning, but apparently I finished frying the plantain that I was showing you. And I did not turn off the stove. So the oil got overheated. And sent off the smoke alarm now you see why you have to be careful when you're cooking when you're done cooking turn off your stove okay and you won't be embarrassed in the middle of your vlog <laughs> well as promised I'm gonna do some smoothie to go with my breakfast of color you and salt fish and fried dumpling and plantain I'm gonna do some smoothie Yep, so I'm going to do some cucumber smoothie, but I've also added apple, green and red apple, a bit of pineapple also, and my favorite, okay, I'm not going to say my favorite, but mango, because I consider mango as being tropical. So, yes, in this bowl, it looks quite tropically, right? So, mango, cucumber, mostly cucumber, because it's meant to be cucumber smoothie. And um, green and red apple and a touch of pineapple so here goes into my juicer and my veget my sorry still thinking about vegetable the fruits are already washed so always remember to wash your fruits or food before cooking now instead I'm gonna add a bit of water but I need my cucumber to get um taste a bit tangy my cucumber smoothie so i'm going to add a bit of orange juice to it and remember this for you is optional it's up to you okay so i'm adding a bit of orange juice to my smoothie i'm going to also add a half a glass i'm going to add half a glass of water And a, I'm going to add a teaspoon of honey, yep, clear honey, to my smoothie. Honey is good for you also, and because of what's going on, yep, honey is good for anything, so, yep, add my honey, yep. 
and I'm also going to add just a bit of ground ginger because I haven't got the clove ginger so I'm just adding some powder ginger yeah to my smoothie you don't have to but I like ginger see I love spice <laughs> so I add a bit of powder ginger but remember guys this is optional and no sugar no cheese no sugar it's meant to be healthy so remember i just put um honey in it and orange juice and the fruit itself is sweet that's fructose and uh, i've just put some orange juice that is sweet fructose also so you really and truly don't need to put any sugar okay if you want to be healthy so cover and blend After blending, you know you can taste it and you will know if you like the consistency of it. You can either add more orange juice if it's too thick or you can just not add anything else. It depends on how you like it. But I like mine not too thick, not too runny. Just right. So, juice is ready and I'm going to share your breakfast because i know you must be starving guys because i am so breakfast is served in five so guys as promised your breakfast is served enjoy it and remember to click that button to get me to at least 20 likes and i will make you another breakfast or dinner or brunch whichever you like send your comment share subscribe okay click click go on now and touch that button and enjoy your breakfast so you see i've added a bit of cucumber on the side and also on the side of the smoothie so you have a variety there so if the color loop is too spicy guys you have the plantain to cool it down cool your taste bud down how you have your smoothie to quench your thirst so we have a mixture of everything here we have carbohydrate <laughs> twister we have carbohydrates we have iron in the color loo we have vitamin c vitamin a we have everything right here for you to enjoy your breakfast and still feel healthy okay so thanks for watching god bless and remember one love okay and follow your dream guys because life is a journey and the journey is what you make it so for now i'm signing out from queenie's kitchen god bless and remember to subscribe Mwah.